Hey, it's official. I officially made the change from power only to drive-in. I got a 2023 drive-in. I'm renting from my company with the field skirts and all. So let's take a look at the lower board and compare the difference between power only and drive-in. Let's get into it. YouTube, keep the trucker back with another video. In this video, I just want to kind of search the load board with you and show you the difference of power only versus driving as far as the loads is concerned. I'll show you how you have more options picking as a drive-in versus as a power only. Because as I stated in my other video, uh, if you didn't get to check that video out, video out from a couple days ago, be sure to go check that out. Uh, I currently switched over from power only to drive-in. I rented a drive-in from my company. It'll run me, I think, about two forty a week, give or take. It's a 2023 brand new uh, drive-in with the field skirts and everything on it. So everything's good on it. Brand new tread, brand new everything. So, yeah, I'll run it that way for a while and just see how it goes. So uh, let's get into it. So the app, the app that I like the most is this Truck Smarter app. I kind of use it as a scout app. What I'll do is I'll, I'll pick where I'm at, which currently today I'm dropping a load in Tulsa. So I've already booked my load out of Tulsa, but this is just kind of like, this is me just showing you how I do things. So I would basically pick the area that I'm going to, which is Tulsa. So let's say if I was still power only. As you can see, it will be 172 options, which that's not that's not bad because some places when I go, you've only got maybe 10 to 15 options coming out of it. Uh, so that's 172 for power only. Now, if I click drive in, we've got a thousand options. You see, you see the difference of what I was running into, how I was costing myself money versus when I was chasing down trailers with JB Hunt, which I still run JB Hunt, I still run JB Hunt's load board, but now instead of doing the power only version, I do the drive van version, which gives me more options. I use this app, Truck Smarter, as a scout app to kind of to kind of see as far as where the loads is coming from. So what it does is it'll show you each load board, so you got XPO, you got CH Robinson, you got Transfix, TQL. I've done a couple of TQL loads. It's not that bad. I actually went and picked up, uh, got paid to haul an empty trailer. So you'll go to the trailer manufacturer, you'll pick up the empty trailer, you'll take the empty trailer to the location. I think this particular location was a Penske. I dropped it off, and then I bobtail out of there. That was when I was power only, so... Uh, pretty easy runs. I picked up a couple different empty trailer locations. Uh, I picked a few up for JB Hunt. I think I was in Lafayette, Indiana. I picked up there at the trailer manufacturer and I took it where it needed to go and then I bobtail out of there. But then you run into the issue on the back end. Once again, you got to track down the empty trailer. And for me, empty trailers, it could take anywhere up to like six hours. You know, it's almost a half a day just, just to get get everything straightened out because the first trailer you get to, nine times out of ten, either something's going to be drastically wrong with it where you can't roll or you'll get there and someone else will already be hooked up to it or the trailer won't be there as a whole. So you got to get back with them. That takes time. They got to find you another location. And, you know, over time it's just eating up time. That's why I chose to go drive in because – it allows me to go from load to load to load. And then the only thing that's really slowing me down is myself. So that's where I'm at with it. But as far as the actual load board itself, you can you can pick anybody. You can pick JB Hunt. You'll see what's on their load board. And you can do it all from this one app versus having to go to each app and figure out what's what. Once you figure out where you want to run, let's say you want to run the TQL load. You can go over to the TQL load board and find this exact load. And it also gives you the price range of what you can expect to charge or what you can expect for the book now price. So 
it allows you to do that. As you can see, some of the lows, depending on where it's going, it's not paying like too, too bad. Sometimes it's way worse. So some of the prices is going up. It just depends on the day that you pick. So that's just coming out of Tulsa. Let's say if I wanted to go, let's pick up some. Oh, this is the location I was at the other day, the Robert, Louisiana. So let's say, let's say for power only. Well, they got more than the other day. Now they got 42. The other day, I think it was only like five or 10 lows coming out of there. So now you got 42. So let's, let's click on the power only and see what we got going on. Uh, let's see. Got 2,800, 1843. Got Lacombe, Louisiana. Let's see. Got a 9K pounds uh, low coming out of Mississippi. So you see in me, for instance, because my truck's getting older and at the moment I'm kind of at that bridge where I'm like, you know, I either got to get the money together to figure out how to get this rebuild going or I got to potentially figure out how to put money down on a second truck. So that's that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm at that crossroads where I really got to start looking at which direction I want to go. So I've been exploring both options. Uh, so if you know any good rebuild places in uh, in Georgia or the surrounding areas, then be sure to, you know, drop a comment down below. Let me know and I'll, I'll look into it. Also, if you know anywhere where I can potentially finance a rebuild or something like that, drop it down below and let me know so I can, I can look into it. But, uh, yeah, so this was the lows that was coming out of Louisiana. It's not as bad as it was the other day. Uh, let's see if some other hot spots. Let's see. Let's, let's check Houston. Houston is a pretty big area to get some lows out of. I, I used to run Houston so much, it almost became like a second home or something because I was I just go back and forth to Houston. It was an easy run. I was so used to doing it. I go to Houston, Sealy. Sealy's got a Toyota plant out there. It's so smooth with a truck stop next to it. It's so smooth to get in and out. You just go drop your load and get unloaded. I think within about a good hour or so, and you're back on the road. I made a couple of those runs too. So power only coming out of Houston. They got 163 versus drive-in, 1,000 loads. So let's go to drive-in option. Okay, you got a five thousand dollar load, forty four hundred, forty one hundred, forty three hundred. Now get Dolce's. chase. I think I've been through there before. You got Shreveport, Fort Worth. Only thing I hate about driving through Fort Worth is a damn damn construction. Uh in the Dallas Fort Worth area, the construction. I don't know who does these construction zones, but it's almost as if somebody gave them a coloring book and told them, hey, you know, go have some fun. Because the way they the way they draw the lines and everything, man, it's just hell going through there. But I take a dollar's load every now and then, but, man, I already know it's going to be hell every time. Oh, yeah, I also ran into a problem when I went out there to Dallas, the same issue, about a six-hour trailer chase. I ended up way over by the airport. I guess there was an abandoned J.B. Hunt trailer. So I finally ended up grabbing that one after chasing trailers the whole day, you know, and then by the time I got to my load, I was already late. So you run into the issue of you're showing up late to loads, you know, or you're canceling loads because you don't got a trailer, things of that nature. It starts to look bad on you as the owner operator. It looks like you're just showing up late, you're canceling, you know, no one's going to want to book you to the loads once, once a person looks at your track record. So it's going to make it harder to get lows. So, uh, yeah, I was running into that issue. So another reason to go drive in at the moment, you know, I'm not saying just stay driving because driving could potentially drive too. I don't know. But for the time being, it's in my best interest to go drive in and see if I can make more money, you know, get my money back situated where I want it. So, uh, yeah, because that power only, it just seemed like I was starting to lose money. I like the convenience of being able to bobtail, but it just seemed like I was I was losing money chasing trailers. So this is coming out of the Houston area. 
not bad as far as money is concerned. That, that's that's to me, you know, you might be looking for more money or less money or whatever, but this is pretty average. You know, it's pretty it's pretty decent money to me. So it just all depends on what you're looking for as a whole. And also with the Truck Smarter app, I think it's invite only in order to keep it free. As you see at the top of the screen, invite friends to keep Truck Smarter free. Now, I do got an invite code for you that I'm going to share with you. Hopefully, it still works. If it does, I think it's good for up to 14 days or 10 days or something. So go ahead and download the app. Download the Truck Smarter app. Put in my invite code, and you should have access to it. Even if you're not an owner-operator, you can just kind of skim the lows and just kind of see, you know, what the pay is and different things of that nature for the future in case you become an owner operator you can already be ahead of the game uh so yeah let me see if i could pull that code up for you so here's the code three seven seven three one four is the code i'm gonna leave that on the screen for a minute and also i'll put it down in the description so only thing you got to do as i said is Download the Truck Smarter app. I think it's going to ask you for the invite code. Type in the invite code, and then you should be able to have access to it. Now, if you don't, let me know in the in the uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll, I'll see what I could do. I could see if maybe I could share the invite code, like either send you send you some type of text or something or or whatever, so and then you could try it that way. Well, yeah, that's the invite code. 377-314. And let's see. Let's check, let's check out Chicago area. That's another hot spot. Now, I did a lot of Frito-Lay lows to Chicago because it's coming out of, uh, like, when I'm coming out of home time, out of Georgia and stuff, uh, it's a Frito-Lay plant probably within 100 miles of my house. So I will always check there first. See if they got loads. You know, Frito Lay loads, power only. You just go there, pick up the load, and you're gone. And a lot of times, Frito Lay loads is very, very light. Like we're talking maybe 10,000, 10,000 pounds, something like that. It's very, very light load. So, uh, yeah, I'll just take it where it needs to go. I made a Frito Lay run to Chicago. Made a couple, no, a couple of them to Chicago, a couple of them to Minnesota. Let's see where else. Houston area. I mean, you name it. I, I've I've done a lot of Frito Lay loads when I was power on. Now I don't know how it's gonna work when I'm driving. I don't know if those same loads will pop up, but yeah, as you can see, driving there's over twenty three hundred loads coming out of Chicago versus let's say power only two forty eight, which two forty eight under the power only section, that's a lot of loads. You know, two forty eight. That's a decent amount of loads coming out of there. So if you can get to one of the hot spots, kind of like what I showed you, as a power-only person, yeah, you can make money. But if you go to one of these spots where it dries up, like, for instance, I'm going to show you in a second. We're going to check out Nebraska. I went out to Nebraska one time as power-only. That was a free to lay run, too. I went out there. I think I got stuck for I think I got stuck for a day or two. I ended up driving all the way all the way somewhere in Iowa, I believe, just to pick up a load. And I'll do that sometimes, you know, to uh, just to keep rolling. Like, I'll, I'll drive. I want to keep it now that I'm driving. I want to keep it 150 and below as far as deadhead going to my next load. But I'll, I'll, I'll make it as much as 250 miles if I need to, you know. So, uh yeah, I'll go as far as 250 miles. Like, this particular load that I got after this Tulsa run is about a little bit over 200-something mile deadhead. But I'm headed to the house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this next load. It's going to drop in Georgia. And then once I drop this load or get unloaded or whatever, I'm going to just shoot to the house until till Monday, load my food back up and stuff. And... uh I'm going to head back out either Sunday night or Monday morning, first thing. already got my load booked out Monday. Uh, let's see where I'm headed. Can't remember where I'm headed, but I already got my next two loads when I'm coming out the house. I already got those booked. 
So you always got to be thinking ahead. As an owner operator, you always got to be thinking ahead. If you know you're going home on such and such date, then what you need to do is you need to already start looking at the dates for when you plan to come back on the road. That's what this app allows you to do. So if I went home, let's say the 16th or 17th, and then I wanted to come back the 18th or 19th, let's say I'm coming back the 19th, I'm already looking on 19th, you know, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Okay, I want this load, you know, I'm already looking. So it just all depends on what you're looking for. I'm going home. I drop this next load on the 16th. So I drop it on the 16th. I got the rest of my day free. Then I'm going to stay all Sunday, you know, get my food and all that stuff together. And uh, I'm going to head out by Monday morning. If not Sunday night, I got to look at the load. I can't remember if it was Sunday night or Monday morning. But I already got a load booked out of Atlanta. So I just shoot up there, grab that load, and then I'm on my way. Because Atlanta ain't that far away from me from me so about a about a little bit over an hour so I just shoot the liner. I know it's plenty of loads and then I'm on my way so uh but yeah it's basically basically how I've been doing it. So this one this is power only another thing with power only like if you look like this White Town Indiana I think that's a Frito Lay run too in this Wisconsin. So I I did those too. Easy places. Frito Lay low is very easy to get in and out. You just go pick up and then you're on your way. As you can see, 15K pounds. It's not that heavy, so let's click on it. Let's see. Yeah, Frito Lay. See, Frito Regional Warehouse to Frito Lay in Wisconsin. Well, as you can see, the money is drastically different on power only versus drive-in. You see, for this load, you can expect between 540 and 810. Now, when you haggle it, you might be able to haggle $1,000, but. It just all depends on how J.B. Hunt's feeling for the day, but you might be able to have a, have a uh, get you a stack or something, but it just all depends. But let's see. Now let's switch over and go to driving. And we could check out, like, I, I'm going to do more than one of these low board things. We could check out reefer. We could check out flatbed. Just leave it down in the comments below or something if you want. If you want something specific checked out and you can't access a load board or something, you just wanna you just wanna see because I got different load boards. You see, I get uh through F two F, I get many many load boards, uh, and a lot of them, a lot of them come free to me, you know. So I only pay I only pay for one load board. That's the uh, truck stop app, and I've never used it. I just pay for it just in case I need it, but. I don't even pay for it. It's, I mean, I pay for it. I don't. I don't even use it. I. Uh, I think it's like seven bucks a week or something. Fourteen bucks a week at the most, somewhere in there. So, yeah, I got plenty of load boards. I got the XPO. I got. I got all this stuff. I got all my login information. I can just log in, and we can go through those load boards. I even got. Uh, I even got the Schneider load board and everything. Now Schneider did. Schneider did cancel f2f as power only because i tried to book a power only load with schneider and uh that's when i found out that schneider no longer wants to partner with us on the power only side now i'm not sure if we can still book a load with them on the drive van side i think we can and if that's the case then i can uh that allows me more even more loads to choose from so yeah i got the i got a schneider app i got all this stuff so we can just go over loads every now and then and just kind of see where it's at. So this is drive-in. Well, let's just skip drive-in. Let's check, let's check out flatbed real quick. I'll show, I think it's only showing 81 loads, but hey, we'll check out flatbed. I'll give the flatbed guys some love real quick. We'll check out some flatbed loads. As you can see, 5,300, 3,200, 3,000, 2,800, Chicago to Houston, that ain't a bad run. 3,400, 3,400, so yeah, he got some stuff, now look at J.B. Hunt's price, 919, now, I'm not dogging J.B. Hunt, I like the low boy, I like what they do, I just don't like chasing trailers all day, but uh, the price range is so, so different, they're only offering 919, whereas you look at some of the other lows, you know, you're getting 15 plus, 
But I like JB Hunt's load board because it's quick and easy. I already it was the first load board that I learned to use, you know, efficiently in order to make me some money. So I stick with it. But uh, now that I don't got to deal with chasing trailers, yeah, my next my next few loads is still JB Hunt. I'm not gonna lie to you, but uh, yeah, my next couple loads is still JB Hunt. Like I said, I still I use TQL and I use all that stuff too, but uh. Yeah, it just all depends. But yeah, this was just a quick look at a load board and everything. I was just showing you how I pick my loads and uh, the different load board that I like to use. And also, don't forget, let me show you one more time. 377314 is the invite code because I think this app is by invite only. So don't ever say I didn't do anything for you. So I'm inviting you to join the Truck Smarter app and check out the loads. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll catch you next time. Can't come to the trap, you making it hot. Don't forget the work and it's fresh out the pot. I've been having nervous, I sleep with a chop. I get off the work and I don't need a clock. I don't need the rib, you know it's a stop. You get on my nerves, I put it on block. If you choose the size, then you turn to an op. The traps that he jumping, we making it hot.